Okay, the next slide that we're going to tie is the PMX. But the first thing we want to do is tie our thread down. In this case, I'm just using brown thread. I've used lots of different colors of thread, but we we'll use brown for this one. So we get our thread down. Now, for the tail, we are going to stack some elk hair. And the tail on this is not going to be very long. Say only about a quarter of an inch. Make a few wraps to get it down tight. Now what I like to do is take my thread, bring it up to about, I'd say probably a little over half the length of the hook, and tie down the rest of it. Trim off those tags. And then we can go back over the top and wrap them down. In this case, I'm using yellow Antron. Yellow Antron yarn. Tie that in at the tail. And then work its way up to where you left the hair cut off. All right, and then we take and we're going to wrap the Antron. And we want to build up a little bit of a tapered body. So the further up there you get, the more wraps we're going to want to make so that there's a little taper to that body. To about there. Tie it off and trim. Now we'll tie in our wing which we'll be using elk care again. We'll get a clump. Get it stacked down. And we want that to extend about back to the tail. So we're down it doesn't matter if those fray too much. Because we're going to end up cutting them off anyways. Okay. Now wrap that down, clean it up. Okay, now what I like to do, you don't have to do this step, but Add a little bit of flash to the tail. So we just put that pearl flash on top of there. Wrap it down up on top. Trim it off. And make sure we get her down there good and tight. Okay, now the next thing we're going to add to our PMX are some rubber legs. In this case, I have chartreuse and black rubber legs. So we come in on one side and we're going to tie these in down just a little bit further. one rubber leg and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. kind of work with them until you get them exactly where you want them. And those are going to move those a little bit when we get to the final step. Okay, now, the rubber legs are 
that's another step that we have to tie on up here. We don't want those in the way. So I'm going to pull that all back, grab some extra wire that was laying around, tie those back so they're not in the way. Now we're going to tie in our parachute. For the parachute, we use, I'm going to use poly yarn. And take that poly yarn. We're going to tie that in, good and tight, and we're going to pull those two pieces together, we're actually going to tie them together. That will be our parachute post. Okay. Now, once we've got our parachute post tied in, we're going to tie in our tackle that we'll use to wrap around the parachute, which in this case is a grizzly ankle. Tie it down and then tie it up next to the parachute. Okay, the final step is to wrap peacock curl. This is where it can get a little tricky. Wrap peacock curl around everything we just tied in. So we'll tie our curl in. And we're going to start wrapping. Now at this point, we want to take our wire off so that we can get these legs exactly where we want them. A couple wraps in between the legs. Make a wrap on the top of the leg. step is to tie or to wrap our parachute. Take that and wrap it as many times as you like. So about five or six. Now tying that off a little tricky. I like to grab everything, pull it up, take our thread, wrap down over the hackle, make sure it's not over the eye. Okay, now last step is to finish it. That right there is a parachute Matamax.